Since recording its first COVID-19 case on Saturday, April the 11th, Kanu State has stayed on the radar. By the last announcement by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, the Northwest State has a total of 847 confirmed cases, the second highest nationwide after Lagos. Now the State University of Science and Technology is joining the search for an end to the pandemic. This solar-powered infrared human temperature scanner is designed by students of the Department of Engineering. Another is this automatic sanitizer dispensing machine, also solar-powered. When one uh, put his or her hand under, when the sensor reads the hand, it will now dispense and make a sound. The reason why we make the sound is, for example, you know some people, they may try to skip the process. So if we keep it there by the door, you have a receptionist there. So provided the receptionist sees someone coming in without hearing the, the sound, it means he didn't sanitize his hand. The school management sees this as part of the university's contribution towards finding localized solution to the pandemic. The pandemic actually made us to wake up to the call of the academics, not only here but in all other institutions of the Federation. And what we are witnessing today is really the initiative uh, that actually we are able to make in order to fight against the spread of uh, the coronavirus. So far, 10 of the machines have been fabricated with plans to make more. As they say, necessity is the mother of invention. That surmises this atmosphere here. If such efforts are given the right support, the nation's quest for a well-developed and functional creative and innovative hub may no doubt become a reality.